So what I've got here today is about 42 inches of 1.5 millimeter leather. And I've got one of the uh, orange soda lights. So you can see this one really doesn't have any orange in it. Maybe just a touch in the bottom, but what it has up here is some, looks like mica. So it must've been next to, or had a little bit of mica in the stone when they dug that one out. So that one is really gorgeous. And then I'm gonna pick a different, I'm gonna show you a few different options. I'm gonna pick a bead, I'm not sure which one. So I've got some large hole beads and um, I don't know which one we'll, we'll try, all these three. And I just kind of wanted to show you some options because this again, Wednesdays are about showing you options and, and um, not necessarily, uh, you know, like real like finished products. It's about giving you some ideas, right? That's what we were going to do on Wednesdays. And then also we've got our barrel knot tube and we've got one of our SOC4. So this is our silicone slider, but this is the little bit bigger one. Uh, so it is the, it's SOC4 if you're looking for it in the uh, website. And uh, the only, only tool I'm going to need on this, and look at, look, look at these, these things that I never have, scissors. I never have them, but I asked Savannah to grab them. They're kind of gungy looking, but I'm just reading some of the things here. Um, oh, people have said they missed the little tag. So I, I just, I am writing everything out right now for a okay. comment of what yeah, those okay. are. Yeah, so they're they're all going to be in the um, if you go into the what's new page or if you go on to semi precious singles, they're also in there. Um, oh, hey, Susan, you got a shop. That's great. Well, good luck with that. I'm just seeing what Karen. Uh... Yeah, normally we do the, the little codes, um, but Sven is popping them all up in the comments right now. So, OK, so I'm just going to show you a quick and easy project. This, like I said, was literally one of our fastest selling necklaces that we could not keep in stock. So I've got, I'm just going to kind of move this stuff around. So I've got 42 inches of leather and I'm going to meet the two ends up and find the middle. And I'm going to go off to the side just ever so slightly. So I'm going to take my barrel knot tube and I'm going to place it on top there. And I'm going to wrap towards my left hand three times. You guys know I got to do the barrel knots, right? I think barrel knots and leather are like that perfect combination. Okay. So I'm just going to get that looking nice. And then on the other side, I'm going to run my um, piece here. And so now I'm just going to turn it over here and I'm gonna create another one. So now we've got the uh, bead in the way, but I don't worry about it. I just kind of like, you know, jam it all in there and somehow it works. So just make sure that you're taking your time when you're doing your barrel knots so they're nice and neat. So now in this one, I'm gonna kind of move that in with my thumbnail and kind of get it where I want it. Now that could be your necklace right there, just like that. You wouldn't even have to put any embellishment. Uh, you know, guys could wear this. Like I would definitely um, do the soda light for a guy or maybe the labradorite. And you could keep it just really simple like that. Um, and then maybe do a different kind of a clasp or the, you could do one of these sliders, but um, it's uh, one of those sort of unisex kind of things. So super simple. Now, if you want, you can add some embellishments on the side. So in my original one, I added uh, two beads uh, but you can add whatever you want. I just want to give you some ideas. So you could add a pearl. That's what I did in my original one. I did a pearl and then a barrel knot and then another pearl and then a barrel knot. We just don't have the same amount of pearls that we had uh, three years ago when I did that video. So I thought, you know, I'm just not going to do a kit. I'll let you guys kind of create your own. So you can see if you do, do a, a pearl, how nice that would be. That's just beautiful. And we do have some colored pearls. What have we got for large hole, large hole uh, pearls? Uh, I'm just looking. So for eight, mi eight millimeter, we've got off white and gray right now. We don't have a lot. Um, I'm gonna try and get some more in. So what do you what call- What is the code for the barrel knot um, tube? Uh, just we'll type in barrel knot tube. Let's see. I forget what there it is. Uh, the code. Uh, if you type in 
AAA310 uh, barrel knot tube will come up. And the measurement, yes, it does depend on the length that you choose. However, I'm going to uh, explain a little bit more about that at the end here. So, all right. So another large hole bead is the, um, this is a Tierra cast one, and this is 94-5505 in their silver. So that would look really, really nice uh, with a knot on either side there. And then one more here, and then I'm going to just decide what I want. So this one is another Tierra cast. And this is their Celtic large hole bead. So this is 94-5506. Ooh, I like that. Okay, that's, that's pretty. That's what I'm gonna use. Okay. So I will put that on there and then I will do another barrel knot. Now again, this is your piece if you're creating at home. So you could do one of these beads, and then you could do a pearl next to it. You could, you know, you can mix it up. You don't have to do just what I'm doing. Um so you could start off with that. And then if you wanted, you could, I don't know if I would put this white one with it, but you see, you could do something like that, but we're just gonna keep it super simple today. And I'll just use another one of these. <clears throat> so I'm just gonna flip this over and do it on the other side. Rose, the code is AAA310. And if you buy any of our kits where I use a barrel knot tube, you actually get the tube in the kit. So, but we do have them for sale. So, um, all right. So you can see how fast something like this would come together. Um, I'm just sort of throwing it together there. So there we go. There's just like a simple kind of a necklace. Now to use the SOC4 uh, for the end, what I would do is I would, um, okay, first thing is you have to decide how long you want this. This is going to make it so that it's adjustable so that it slides off and on. What you have to make sure that you account for is the size of your head. So if you've got a great big melon and you want this a short necklace, then these sliders aren't necessarily the best thing because um, it's going to be harder to work with. But you can pull the slider all the way down to the very end and then move it up. So I will I will demo what I'm what I'm blabbing about here. So what I do, is I just meet those together and run my hands down. And those are pretty much identical, but you could um, trim that off if you wanted. But what I am going to do is I'm going to make one side uh, kind of a nice sharp edge like that. So you can do this two different ways. You can bring them both in going this direction, like so that they're like that, or you can crisscross them so that you have one going in that way and one going in this way. So, and it makes it easier to get in there if you um, make that one side uh, a little bit of an angle like that. So what I meant before was you can tighten this up and so you can make it like a little choker and then you would just have these hanging down the back. So you can do all sorts of things with these. And then, so you could adjust it if you found that you didn't need it um, quite this large. You could trim these off on the back. But what I would do on the ends is I would just, you can actually do this without a barrel knot too, but um, I just go around twice and put that through the end. So I just do like a little kind of end on it. And I probably would, would have done that a little closer. Am I on camera? Yeah, yeah you're good. Okay, pull that down. Now I didn't bring any glue today, but you could um, trim that off a little bit and then put a little dab of glue because that's the part that's gonna take all the punishment is the uh, very end there. Uh, Cause that's where you're gonna be, you know, opening and closing your necklace. So I didn't leave myself enough there. So sometimes I have to end up wasting a bit of leather because when you don't have enough leather to get in that tube, it makes it really hard. So I do try to uh, minimize my waste, but there we go. Kelly, what is a good length for a men's necklace? Well, it depends on the Susan's dude. Asking. And right? how, how, like, do they want it like a choker? Or... Yeah, it really depends on the size. I mean, my, my son and my husband are completely different sizes. So it really does depend on, on what they like. Most guys like to wear it close around their neck. They don't mm -hmm. like to wear it long. So probably like a 20, I think like we used to have this guy that used to come in 
and we did multiple necklaces for him. And um, I think he was like a 24, but he was a big, you know, buff kind of guy. Mm -hmm. uh, but some, most guys are probably going to be around 22, maybe 24 if they've got a thicker neck, but it depends on if they're, um, if they're thin or, or how they, you know, the length. So there we go. That's just a real simple little um, throw together to show you um, how to use these uh, beautiful beads. 